For it is a sign that summer is just around the corner. We're not top, talking about the temperatures right yeah, now. Yeah, not yet. All right, Low as you're guys. waking up, right? Sea turtle nesting season has officially begun on Anna Maria Island, but this year brings some new challenges after last year's devastating hurricane season. Our 10 Tampa Bay's Nick Valtero live for us on Anna Maria Island, where volunteers are already hitting the beaches out there. Nick, what are you seeing out there this morning? Shh, be very quiet for the babies. Yeah, James. <laughs> Jameson, Caitlin, good morning. And you're absolutely right. The volunteers are out here on Anna Marie Island and they've been scanning the beaches for those turtle nests. But one of the things that they're really finding is the landscape here has been drastically changed after we had those devastating storms like Debbie, Helene, and Milton really pummeled a lot of the beaches out here. And that's really impacting what we're seeing with the sea turtles. And when it comes to turtles, who better than Karen Anderson from the Animal Island Sea Turtle Watch? You like the master splinter, if you will, of the turtles because of your knowledge watching these turtles for years. And one of the things you said that you're finding is the impact that it, the dunes are having and losing those dunes during those storms. Yes. Uh, in years past, we've had plenty of dunes so that the sea turtles could not see the street lights and the house lights. Uh, that were beyond the dunes. Now it, the beach is wide open because we have no dunes and vegetation. So we're looking for uh, a season that we can't talk. Well, here you go. How about this? 685 nests you guys had last year, right? Well, yes. no, I'm not going to put you under pressure. Don't worry. Okay. Be calm. So 685 nests last year, right? Yes. So it was record number of nests. Yes. And are we looking to see the same type of progress this year? Yes, we're hoping to, in fact, increase that number this year. Uh, last year was all loggerhead turtles. This year should also be some green turtles that we see come up here. And you know, one of the things we talked about is the light, right? Like we have lights on the beach that could be disorienting, but without those dunes, there are also a lot of lights that are coming from buildings and from the streets out there, from cars. So that could be very problematic when it comes to sea turtles hatchlings and them going the wrong way instead of going to the ocean. Also for the adult mothers that come up to nest on the beach, they can get distracted or disoriented by the lights in the street. It's not only hatchlings, it's also the sea turtle adults. So that's one of the big things, and that's why they say when you leave the beach, make sure you leave it as you found it, or even better, make sure you're knocking down any of those sand castles, filling in any of those holes, because the turtles can fall in. That can be potentially deadly for the sea turtles. And the patrol is going to be out here in just a little bit. They're going to be patrolling the beaches and, of course, seeing what that progress looks like. But for right now, reporting live from Anna Maria Island, Nick Voltero. Hey, Nick, right, real quick before you go, you know, obviously some new challenges so this year. So what can people do to help protect these turtles this season since there seems to be a number of obstacles they have to contend with now? Yeah, and that's one of the big things, and that's why they talk about leaving the beach better than you found it. Because one of those things is you want to make sure you're cleaning up anything you bring with you. If you bring bottles, you bring lunch, you bring anything, make sure you're cleaning that up, throwing it in the trash. And if you're building sand castles or you're digging holes in the beach, make sure you fill those holes. Because the turtles can fall into those holes. That can be dangerous for the turtles. The sand castles can get them trapped. So knock those down. It's really all about being responsible, just being a good caretaker and making sure you left the beach better than when you found it to make sure you're giving these turtles all that protection that they need. All right, just be a good citizen out there. Nick Valtura reporting live on Anna Maria Island this morning. Nick, thank you. Right now you're taking